Peace family, peace family. Peace to all the high vibrational, you know, everybody vibrating high, you know. Peace to all my loyal subscribers, of course. Peace to the family, you know, just continuously growing our family. Every video and every, every day for sure. Just through interactions and just enlightening my people and people who actually want to learn stuff of a higher, higher degree than, you know, our everyday typical conversations for sure. So I feel like literally I was guided to make the video today because I woke up and I do my meditations, positive affirmations just to start out the day. And um, basically, as soon as I did my affirmations, you know, like I got some like positive moves. Like I was gonna go to, you know, put in put in the hours today regardless, but now we don't have no meeting today, so I get to go a little bit later, which means that I am able to, you know, do some of this <laughs> basically. All right, so just to keep it, you know, a book, I was I was talking with um one of my associates yesterday and they started just randomly asking me questions. Like, I don't know. I don't really put myself out there into like, either I'm guided to put myself out there or I get them type of interaction where people are generally interested in, you know, certain information. So, you know, I open up like a book because I love talking about it. I just, I don't talk about it to everybody because that's not what level everybody on. So why even, waste your time I'm trying to, you know, talk with them about certain information and they're not even going to grasp. That's basically why I don't waste my time. But, you know, the typical question people going to ask you, like, because me personally, I don't, I shouldn't feel like I so-called quote-unquote transcend <clears throat> or die, whatever you want to call it. I don't really believe in it, so I just, he was just asking me, he was all like, um, <laughs> Like, were you, well, basically that too, but he was also just asking me like, cause I was like, what What if you already own heaven? You know, where if you already in heaven? Why you feel like you gotta go somewhere else to be in heaven? You know, why do we feel like that? And basically he was just, you know, giving the concept of how, how it look and, you know, you don't have to work and things like that. I'm just like, you already don't have to do that. We just, feel like we have to do that because we've been told since we was kids that we had to do that like mom always telling you go get a job go get a job which is cool to have a job and have a purpose i know y'all enjoying the birds house too <laughs> well, i know i am great mornings but i'm just like why you i know everybody been telling us since we was young like go get a job go do this go do that but doing nothing is the best thing. Like, they cause people lazy who don't like to do anything like that, but they just live in. They, they, if they happy, they be happy doing nothing, you know? And that's fine. Some people be happy doing a lot. Some people be happy doing nothing. And I was recently just enlightened, like, if we do feel like we was here since the beginning of, since the beginning of time and things like that, we've been putting in so much work, like, just before we even come down to this density, we've been doing work in the other density because those come first and then you, you gravitate down to the third density. Cause we're in 3D, 4D, still like third dimensional. But they're just like throwing a rock in the pond. Like it start off as that, and then we throw it in there. As soon as it hit the water, it just start. The density, you know, it's gonna go through different densities basically. The deeper you go, the higher the the higher the pressure and things like that. So that's why whenever we dropped in those frequencies, we already knew what the pressure was gonna be on because that's just what happens when you go in lower, like lower realms, lower depths, anything when you're going deeper, the pressure gonna be more intense, even if you're going inside the earth. The deeper you go, the more pressure, the harder it is to con contain whatever you're in. But then, you know, you make it through and you become a diamond. You know, that's just how we go. So you got to go through those low densities because we already know pressure made diamonds. 
even though we created the universe, we still have to experience the pressures and the the depths that we created because because it's been created, we have to experience it. Like if it wasn't, let's just imagine if it wasn't no such thing as what if the sky was like really all day red, or you know all, right now you obviously see it's all day blue, but there are planets where the sky is all the way red. We have to experience that, see what kind of effects it uh, has. We scientists, we started off as scientists, like really scientists of the universe because who who you think created all this stuff? Like we created it as a collective. Like it was no one person who created everything. It's a collective. Everything in the universe, just like us on, on as above, so below, just like here on, on earth. No one person creates nothing. Like they might come up with the idea, but they still got inspired from something. Every you don't just you can, basically what we do is just re evolve stuff because it's already been created. Telephones was way created millions of years ago when we was using telepathic energy. He just had to come up with a three D dimensional concept of what we was already doing. We already been flying. Been flying, been gliding, been doing levitating, we've been doing all that. But now they gotta create a plane to do that in third density. But these things that they doing, we already been doing it. You know, for millions of years. And they've been doing it for how long? Since the Wright brothers, which was, I don't know, not that long ago, you feel me? <laughs> Probably like, you know, 17s, 18s, I don't freaking know, bro. But I just know it haven't been no millions of years. Like us, we've been doing it for millions of years. So it's just like, it's different. That's why you can have a vision about flying. You can have a vision about doing these certain things because Obviously, you didn't experience it. Your soul didn't experience it. That's like, I feel like your visions and stuff is like your resume. Let's just say it's like a resume. And we already know that, um, you know, your resume, you're going to put everything that you didn't did. So basically, that's what your 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 um, visions, a lot of your visions be telling you, basically. Because, you know, visions can be in the past, in the future. Because it can either have happened already or it could be undetermined or possible to happen. So that's the only way you can see it. You can't see that just like, um, I don't know, of course we didn't, you know, young people, we didn't watch That's So Raven. She had a vision about what could possibly happen, but she still would try to alter it and all that, but it'll still happen a certain type of way. And nine times out of 10, it wasn't the exact way that she thought it was gonna happen, but it was a pretty good, you know, concept of what could happen, you know? So that's basically what that was even getting to whenever we was watching that show, even though we wasn't watching the watch. We just liked it, the concept, but it still was like giving you hints. They got to give it to you because they have to give it to you. They literally have to give it to you. That's just like, um, your parents telling you something. And be like, I'm telling you for your own good. You can either take it, the advice that you want, or you can look it over, but don't say I ain't tell you, you know? Don't say I ain't tell you type stuff. <laughs> That's basically what they try to use on us right now because they know that we are the original people of the planet. So it's like, if we don't tell them something, they're going to go look for their own answers. So let's just tell them something that suit them with their soul, which they tell us true information. But they just put it in certain um, aspects to where a lot of people won't grasp the information. They put it in the movie because they know we just look at movies as entertainment. We don't look at movies as like this is what really happened. This is just a reenactment of what really happened. Like some of these movies that they be coming out, it's just really a reenactment of what what really took place on our planet and um, throughout the galaxies. Like a lot of those Marvel movies and things of that sort. It's just like, those things was really happening. There really was galactic wars out there in the universe. I know you didn't all watch Star Wars, where they talk about certain starships was as big as planets. I mean, they tell us that right in our faces. We literally could be on a spaceship right now. You could be standing on a spaceship and not know it, literally, because the people who was on that ship, at least they already knew they knew that who the captain was. They knew that who their teammates were. 
you could just look at it at the Star Wars thing and just really read. The, I don't know if you ever read the book or if y'all ever read the book uh Star Wars the Jedi, but they literally be telling you like a lot of those starships and stuff was the biggest biggest planets, and I have heard that um certain ships, even you know in the real world, when I'd heard other um speakers talk like you know Shah Jamal, different type of people like they will tell you like that um a lot of those a lot of the ships that be trying to like they can't come into our atmosphere because it's like i said it's big as the planet but what do we do we send our little scouters just like when we send them to mars when we send them to the moon we send rovers that's basically what they do they just come and they just like when we go to another planet our technology way superior to something that hasn't even been established so of course we're the most superior people on the planet you know, as we think for sure. But um in real retrospect, that's how they come here. They come here, they way more technologically advanced, and it's a reason that they be coming, just like it's a reason we go to Mars. It's always a reason behind everything. Even if it's just to take pictures and you know, just take some stuff back to our planet. It's different reasons why we go to different planets. We don't always go to them just to you know, maybe it's maybe our planet not even habitable for them, or however you say the word. Maybe it's inhabitable to them. Like maybe they can't even stay here, but it's still like they want to see what this other place is about. What is what's the um what's going on? Like we just like how we curious, they curious. You know, I ain't saying something about like you know aliens real because I don't really see them see them as aliens and stuff. Cause if you see it as an alien, then it's kind of gonna give you like a um, a certain aspect or something. I don't really put no name on that thing. Once I see it, then how I feel is how I would interpret what I'm looking at. You know, somebody can somebody could be terrified of of artillery, but that's just how they look at it. And somebody else might not see it as artillery; they see it as protection. So they're gonna look at it a whole different type of way, just just off the word wording. You know, so it's all about word and it's all about how you feel when you, um, you know, looking at certain stuff. And I was also telling him, because it was just like a little, kind of like a little 30 minute conversation. But, you know, within 30 minutes, I could spill a whole lot of, spill a whole lot of info because it's just like, like I said, I'm an open book. Like I just put the information out there. Whoever want to grasp it, they grasp it. If you don't, catch the next one, like literally. <laughs> But yeah, and, uh, I'm just just telling folks like this is just an experience. Like being a human being, it's just an experience that you probably want to do. You signed up for it, obviously, because it's free will in the universe. You ain't gonna force you into nobody. They're not gonna force you into doing anything. You could just been floating on the space if you want to. But you said you make the choice. I want to be a human, and it's a reason that you want to be a human. And it was a reason you already knew what was gonna happen during this experience because time ain't real. So your whole timeline, they already knew. You already knew what was gonna be happening, which was gonna be spreading to your people. And you know, look at all that. <laughs> you already knew what you was gonna be um, experiencing down here. That's why I was like, you could have been a grain of salt. I mean, a grain of sand on the beach. And why would you want to be a grain of salt on the beach? It's just like, I don't know. Maybe you just want to see the ocean all the time. I'm quite sure. That the sand on the beach here a lot of ocean here's a lot of soothing sounds they get to chill all day so it's a whole lot of reasons you might like to be about you might have been a water sign want to be around a lot of water like who knows you might have been a fire sign and you try to get in touch with water so you want to be a you want to be a piece of rock like that's by the ocean like there's different reasons to why we do the things that we do just like as humans it's the reason how what we do what we do it's always a you know, a starting point and uh, just a, a cause to why we turning out the way we turning out for sure. As a people, as a planet, as individuals, like literally. But yes, yeah, I mean, everything made out of atoms. We made out of atoms. Why wouldn't you think that you're everything? Why would, why, like, what's not clicking when you hear that? <laughs> That's how I feel, cause it's just like, it'd be that simple to me, like at least. It's just like, the concept of just everything. 
the phone you holding, atoms, all of this is stacked up atoms to look a certain type of way. And when you get down to thinking like that, then everything, I feel like it'll go way more smoother. Like, it won't be so hard to, to grasp the concept. Because if you stack, let's just say, let's just say you pinpoint these certain type of atoms. All it is is it's stacked up. It's stacked up. And then there might be a, a color in there, but the color is only determined by how much light something receives and how much it's, it's rejecting it. Then it becomes a color, like, simple as that. It ain't nothing really too difficult about it whenever you, because we got natural colors and then we have made up colors. And those are really two different things because natural colors would be your grass, would be your flowers. But usually like, let's just say you look at a red chair for uh, actual spit. It's not really red because they have to create that red. So it's not a real red, it's a made up red. And that's two different type of reds. Just like how you can have two different type of blues. Some companies, they even, um, they even buy the, um, the patents for a certain type of color because it's a created color. It's not the true, real color, you know? I don't even think they really put true, real colors out there anymore. All this colors that we see that we think is red and we think is blue that we look at, it, it's man-made stuff. So it's not a true color, but when you look at grass, those are true colors from the from the sun. It's a reason that it's green. It's absorbing a certain type of frequency and it's rejecting out the rest. It only accepting the green light. Because we getting, it look white. The light look white, but it's really colorful. It's just your eyes can only pick up a certain type of frequency. But that's why the things around us, that's why we have these things around us because they can pick up different type of frequency. That's why when you around the certain type of plant let's say you're around a, but let's just say you are around a purple plant like that's why you're going to be such high vibration that's why violet and all those type of, type of colors just just feel better like you give a, a, a woman a purple flower or something ooh, she gonna really love you because it's just a high frequency she can love a red flower too but she won't She'll feel even better getting that purple because it's like everybody get the red ones. Like, that's typical, basic. You get something out of the, out of the blue, give a a blue color flower or a purple. It's just a different type of frequency. It's a different type of energy that come with it because it's been absorbing a different type of frequency from the sun, so it can kind of let off that frequency. That's why honeybees and things like that they only pollinate certain color flowers because they. They vibrating at such a high vibration. What's the point of getting on the green, some green grass? It'd rather go to a purple vibration, which it sees the vibration because a honeybee is seeing way more frequencies than we see. So it's seeing that it's purple. Without it, it ain't saying that it's purple, the color purple, but it's saying that this is a, a certain vibration, which to us is the color purple. So that, with that being said, it's just like that concept of just staying around those high vibrational things. You might wanna, not the color purple, but you wanna keep some per, some blues and all that around. That's why we have the blues. That's why some of these things even blew up because they had certain titles, certain names, even though the concept wasn't right. Cause we know, I ain't, I ain't never put my hand on a uh, woman or nothing like that, like literally. And it's just like, when they put these certain type of perceptions out there, these certain type of folk tales that they like to say, like, and then they make everybody feel like, um, they can really put their own type of perception in front of us because we can't, we don't really control much here. We don't really control nothing, if you ask me. Even the stuff that we feel like we control is just like, you only given a certain type of option, so they're still being controlled. You can't do it. You can't be who you want to be. You got to be who they set, set out there to be. You can be who you want to be, but it might not necessarily give you any currency, any funds. So, I mean, you're still going to end up somewhere. You got to still pick pick a job that's within their constructs. Yeah, you can create your own business. Yes, that is possible.
of course, but that's you that's you breaking out the matrix. That's you breaking out of the code, but you still gonna have to buy some gas. You still have to go to the grocery store. Okay, I'll walk. I plant my own fruit. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. You still gonna have to pay property taxes. <laughs> you still gonna have to, like, it's still like so much. Like, even when you feel like you free, you still like got so many red tapes and stuff like that that you that we forced to be inside of so it's just like even when you're free you're still not free free you saying okay i'm gonna take a flight when i want to i'm by my own jet they're gonna still make you you're gonna still pay for gas like it's gonna be something it's gonna be something like it's always gonna be something so it's just like we can never be well we can but we got to break away from certain constructs but other than if as long as we inside of certain constructs then yeah, I feel like it just ain't no real true freedom, you know. And I feel like that was the whole scheme of, of all this was to make us feel like we free just so we can still be working for them in a way. Like we still working for them, even though we ain't we ain't on no plantations and shit like that. And just like we still working for them, like we still having to help their agenda at the end of the day. Like how is a lot of this stuff we do, how is it even benefiting us at the end of the day? Just like right now, they take, let's say you do got a job, you do work for these, you know, masters. They just say, right now they taking out um, Medicare and Medicaid out of our checks. Not trying to talk, you know, about that, but like, Social Security, that's says not even gonna be there when we get older, so why are we having to pay for that type of stuff, you know? I mean, if our parents, and stuff already paid that way for them to get their social security. And it's not going to be there for us. Why are we still having to pay for it? Why it's still coming out of our checks? You know, just like certain stuff like that. Don't really be making sense to me. Because it's not going to benefit us. Like, we just getting played and screwed over at the end of the day. Yeah, they might come out with a new program in the future. But, I mean, maybe. With hot stuff licking. We don't know. We don't know. And so it's just like... We just gotta feel like wake up more with even more people trying to think clearly. Because like I said, I woke up this morning, had to get my meditation in, affirmations. Sometimes I'm just gonna make a video. It's just like, listen to those those urges that you have because those urges is what's gonna get you out of the matrix even more so you can have more freedom with your day. Cause like I said, I was supposed to go and do something at 12 it got pushed back to two. Now I got more time to do what I want to do, you know? To um, gather myself and start my day how I want to start my day truly because we be we be doing our things every day, but it's just like, is it truly what you want to do? Have you at least found 30 minutes of your day to actually do what you truly want to do? Because we wake up. Let me just tell you a typical day for like most Americans. We wake up, brush your teeth, do your thing like that, and go straight to work. Been at work since that morning you might get off like around seven o'clock sun going down got to get home you tired you most likely exhausted you've been working all day probably had a little break but this ain't really nothing compared to how many hours you putting in so you get through with that you get home you're gonna eat shower time to go to sleep and it's just like when did you find 30 minutes to do what you wanted to do? Even during your break, you're probably looking at videos on YouTube. If that's what you want to do, I mean, if it's feeling, I mean, I don't, if you're looking at something educational on there, you feel know I me, mean? then that's different. But if you're just looking at dry content, then you know, what's the point of that? You know, is that something that you, you're supposed to be building yourself up for tomorrow so you can have something to look back on, something that you created, something that you, did from you know you you alchemized you made from nothing you know I mean? so yeah just things like that we gotta just find some that's that's when you really get in touch with your godship you feel me that's when you really get into because we was here we we was put here to to have our vacation but it's still like when you're on vacation they ask you for a review at the end like give us a review of how everything is that's basically what you're here doing. you just experiencing it so you can get a great review at the end. But still, while you're there, you like to do activities. 
you might go swimming. It's a vacation, but you're still doing something. You're still printing a little energy. I ain't saying you gotta put out a lot of energy. You know, during that day, you might just want to play pogo or whatever people play on vacation. Like, <laughs> but you might just want to play like some kind of um activity. You know, karaoke. Like, it's still just something creative or something. Yeah, you relaxing, but you still creating because you still doing it. So you st it's still being creative. It's still expressing yourself. So yeah, just like basically that, yeah, find some time in the day just to express yourself and put out the right type of frequency that you literally want to attract more. Because 30 minutes a day, I say you are going to work, but if you put in 30 minutes to an hour of just doing what you truly want to do, you're going to start seeing you being able to actually grasp more time from that. So you can do that concept. So you can have time to do that. Because the universe is going to give you what you want. If you always going to work, it's going to give you more job, more to do at work. <laughs> if you at least find that 30 minutes a day, it's going to have to give you some time to actually do that more. Because especially when they see that when you do it, you resonate it more higher. Of course, it's going to give you more time in the day just to um, do that activity, do that uh, recreational thing that you like to do. But yeah. With that being said, family, I'm going to get on up out of here. This was a great conversation, great enlightenment. Like, it was just spilling out. That's why I like to do is just let it spill. And then, shoot, you know, I let the people decide if they like it or not. Because I love it. <laughs> I wouldn't put it out. But, um, yeah, just to let y'all know, we do got more music coming. So, stay tuned. I got a project already done, actually. I just got to get some cover art and probably put probably create a couple of more songs just to keep it up to date because I go to the studio I just make a whole make a mixtape album whatever you want to call it in one day and just like I could just let it fly that same day if I wanted to but I kind of sit on it a while I let it ponder on me really let my energy go into it by listening to it you know knowing it things like that so but yeah that's definitely on the way Got a photo shoot coming, of course. Got just a lot coming, honestly. So just stay tuned for circuits. Sure, you know, my stuff will just start. That's just how it is. I just chill and then out of nowhere, coming with it, coming with it, coming with it. So it's just like, and I do want to put out some more concepts. I'm thinking about doing some like social experiments and stuff, just kind of getting out, getting out more and just like, I'm doing my thing, just seeing what the, what the world got to offer because my experience is a different experience than you have if you did it so just like i'm gonna give her my story i'm gonna give her my my point of view and just like rock out you know but yeah with that being said peace family peace to all the high vibrational people i hope y'all learned something today to all the low vibrational people i hope you raise your frequency y'all have a great day and like i said peace family peace to all my love subscribers I'll show you till next time.